Hello everyone, and welcome back to WebEyes. Today, we're going to talk about something that you use every day on your devices, a web browser. You probably have one open right now watching this video, but do you really know how it works? In this video, I'm going to explain what a web browser is and how it receives and displays content. So, what is a web browser? A web browser, or just browser for short, is a software application that you use to browse the World Wide Web. It works by sending a request to a web server and then receives a response containing the content that is to be displayed on the screen of your device. Once the browser is open on your device, you'll see an address bar where you input the address of the website that you want to visit. This address is commonly known as the Uniform Resource Locator or URL for short. The URL contains the protocol or the HTTP, the domain name, usually the name of the website, and the file path or the path to the page that is displayed. When you make a request using this URL, the browser and server communicate using a protocol known as the Hypertext Transfer Protocol or HTTP. Once the web browser receives the content, it displays it on the screen of your device. This exchange of information is made possible by something known as the request response cycle. Let me give you an example that many of us are familiar with, searching the web. First, you open a web browser, which is a software application. Next, you type the name of your favorite search engine in the address bar. The name you type contains something called a domain name. When you press enter, the web browser sends a request across a network and connects to another computer on the internet called a web server. The web server is a special type of computer that allows other computers to make requests for data. The web server responds by sending a web page back to the browser. Once the browser receives all the response information, the search engine web page is made visible. The web page is a coded document that is rendered by the browser and then presented visually to you, the end user. Now that the search engine web page is loaded in the browser, you can interact with that page to search for what you want to find. For example, type cafes near me in the search bar and press the search button. Once again, the browser prepares and sends a request to the same search engine web server. This time, the request contains the added instructions to search for the phrase cafes near me. The search engine web server processes the request by taking the keyword and using it to find the requested data. This data is stored in something called a database, which is connected to the web server. The web server then picks up that data and sends it back to the browser. When the web browser receives the full response from the web server, it again renders a visible web page with links to some cafes, a map showing nearby locations, and more related information such as reviews, lists, and even reservations. All of this is made possible by computers having a conversation, and this conversation is called the request response cycle. So the next time you're searching for something online, take a moment to think about all the steps involved and the data that's exchanged to complete your request. It's a fascinating process that we take for granted every day, but understanding how web browsers work can help you make the most of your online experience. Whether you're chatting with friends, watching a movie, or sharing files with colleagues, the request response cycle is the backbone of everything we do online. So, keep exploring and enjoy the wonders of the World Wide Web. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos.